Hey, Rick. The car broke down again. I know your dad, Rick. Your real one. Can we talk? Got towed here last night. So? So you did this, didn't you? With the hourglass? Why? My uncle's a jerk. Your father would never have used his power like that. My father's dead, so what's it matter what he would do? The Injustice Society killed him. And my mom. Yeah. I just found that out. Courtney said these people are still out there. Why haven't you stopped them? I'm trying to. In fact, I thought you might be able to help me, Rick. With the hourglass? With this. You belong to your father. It doesn't make sense. Are you sure my dad wrote this? Why? He's talking about growing up in Michigan and meeting my mom at Calvin College. But my dad grew up in Connecticut and he met my mom when they were kids. None of this is right. Uh, maybe it's all some kind of code? Well, I mean, I thought the chemical equations might be. I didn't think the diary entries were. It's good thinking, though. I'll keep looking at it. You should leave the journal with me, Rick. You? This was my dad's. I'm keeping it. You need to leave it with me, the hourglass, too. Why? Because I don't think you're ready for it, Rick. You don't know me any better than you knew my dad. I know that he invented the hourglass, the power inside it. I also know how much he respected that power. He knew how addictive that power could be and how tempting it was to use it in all the wrong ways. Limiting the powers was his idea. One hour a day, and I never saw him abuse it. Not like you have. You look at me like everyone else around here does. Like I'm trash. Like I'm not worth a damn. No, Rick. You're wrong. That's not at all how I look at it. Courtney said you were her dad's sidekick. But you've had this journal for how long and you didn't figure it out? You didn't know my parents were murdered. You didn't know about me. I gotta ask you, what the hell did Starman use you for? Because as far as I can tell, you don't do anything. 